Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Edgar Mendez and today we're doing a reading focused on what are your person's current feelings for you right now. I wanna thank you all for being here. I do appreciate it. I appreciate all the love and the likes and the comments that you give me. It means a lot. I do have some announcements. I do have live readings for this Sunday. Um, if you've seen them, um, you know what they exactly what they are, but um, you can book on Calendly. I also have... Um, a group or community candle um, on, on my Calendly as well, if you want to book that, as well as a guided meditation. So if you're interested in any of that, any of that sticks out to you, anything you know calls out to you, it's for you. Um, so get it. Uh, <laughs> so, so get those things. Um, and I also have other services if you are interested in that. But yeah, I think that's it. That's it. Just, um, again, the group candle. Um, it's all about bringing in healing and a love. Um, the second one, uh, it's going to be the um, the group guided meditation. It's all about releasing the past fully and completely. Those two things combined will be very powerful for anyone looking for a brand spanking new life. Um, I'll also be opening up a portal to a new life as well that you'll be able to soak up the energy of. And yeah, live readings. Yeah, live readings. Okay. Um, I am just happy you're all here. Don't forget to like and comment. Does matter. Yeah, I think that's it. I think that's it. Um, all right. So we're going to start from Aries all the way down to Pisces. So we're at one hour and 30 seconds for Aries. All righty. So let's see who's going to be answering our questions. It's going to be a mix between St. Germain and Kuan Yin. But St. Germain, to answer your, uh, the question for Aries, um, St. Germain, can you tell me, what is Aries' this person's current feelings for Aries right now? A lot of sorrow here. I do feel there is like this, um, this energy in their heart. That I don't know what you'd say that is, but um, I, I it's like this it's it's this weird um, like frequency or wavelength within this person's heart that looks like maybe anxiety or like you're shaking. I I, I don't know, um, but there is that energy coming through very strongly, and this is someone who, when they think about you, they have that that feeling in their heart, and that's not a good feeling. Um, is what Saint Jerry wants to say. It's not a healthy feeling as well. Um, let me see. Why do they have that? Why Why is that feeling coming through, St. Germain? Can you tell me? Why is that feeling coming through? Let's take a look here, see what St. Germain says. Um, there's regrets here. I do feel uh, they're feeling the pressure, though, um, is one of the most important things. They know they have to do something about your connection. Like, they you know, they have to do something. But they don't feel ready. But they have that a belief or that idea or that concept that they have to move. And this uh, contrast between I'm not ready to move, but I know I have to move is making that person very much shaky uh, when they think about you, very much nervous when they think about you. I think um, the human mind and the, you know, the constraints and uh, the beliefs around the human mind are what makes this person think that they have to act before they're ready. Um, but in reality, they don't have to. Um, and it's probably not even for the best if they were to. Uh, but that feeling of I need to do something, I need to fix this, I need to solve this, I need to maybe make it official with Aries, whatever it is. Um, this is someone who's just they know they're not ready, but they feel this pressure to act. Anyways, where is this coming from? I think it's their logical mind, but maybe some of you have put that pressure on this person. Who knows? But um, it is very much there. Let's see. Um, is there any other feelings that they have? Um, uh, very triggered. I do feel if you were to, St. Germain says, if you were to um, be able to pressure this person into giving you more than they're ready to, They'd actually hate you for it. Mm. Um, they they take it out on you for it as well. I know that it doesn't seem that way, especially with all the limiting beliefs or ideas that we have around spiritual connections. But in reality, the human mind is not a spiritual connection. And um, the human mind doesn't perceive your connection as that. Only our soul does. And this is someone whose mind will take it out on you if you were to put pressure on this person. Um, whether you're doing that now or or you will. Um, but there is that feeling coming through where they would end up hating you as a result. Like, I think we all know this. Sorry, St. Germain is bringing up like when you, if you were to force a child to do something, um, they're going to hate doing it, even if they wanted to do it. Right. It, it's something about that, that, that experience of being forced to do something when it's not our choice, even though we want it, it's still not our choice. And there's that pressure coming through. This could be energy, right? Um, your actual energy is giving off this pressure. But I feel a lot of you may have put up strong expectations or maybe um, strong 
boundaries or something like that. That's actually giving this off to this person, but how they're receiving it is I know I should do something, but I'm not ready to do something. And if they were to be forced to do something, they'd actually hate you as a result of it. So there is this really weird energy coming through. Um, anything else that um, Aries needs to know about this St. Germain, about this dynamic that currently exists? Um, saying your energy speaks volumes, that's what he's saying, um, just so you know, um, that it, it's... I know that our human mind, so annoying, is it not, right? But our human mind really thinks that if you didn't tell someone something that they don't know, <laughs> isn't that funny? <laughs> it always does that. But in reality, everyone knows everything. And this is someone who's very much aware and keen to what it is that you expect from them. Mm. And they're just not ready. They're not. They, they really aren't. But they feel that pressure. And... They kind of hate you right now a little bit for it. It's not like a real hate, but you understand what I mean. Um, when we feel pressure, we always take it out on wh whoever we feel like it's coming from. Um, and this is someone who there's a little bit of that. There's resentment here too, some bitterness here as well. And they are doing the best that they can. Yeah. Um, but that means a little to nothing to the human mind, does it not? On a soulful level, we understand and appreciate that, and we absolutely adore it. But on a human mind uh, perception and how our human mind um, processes things, that's nothing, right? Um, and that's the feeling that St. Germain's saying you have right now. Um, yeah, anyway, it's an odd reading, but it is what it is. I thank you, Aries. Don't forget to like and comment. So we are on six minutes and... 50 seconds for Taurus. So let's take a look here. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Um, uh, St. Germain. I uh, St. Germain would be the one answering. St. Germain, can you tell me what are Taurus's person's current feelings for Taurus right now? Um, they go back and forth. Um, I do feel the feelings are the happiness or uh, the pleasantness that of you is what they are feeling more consistently than I feel some of the bitterness that they used to have or some of the anger that they had towards you. A lot of you told this person who they are and they were not happy with that. And, and in fact, it's so funny. This happens all the time in my private readings. You know, I'm like, this is it. <laughs> They're like, no, it's not. They always do this to me. I'm just like, oh, no, calm it down. <laughs> calm it down. I'm telling you, it's it. Um, but it feels like you did something like that to this person where you told them you're doing this or you are this, or this is how you're behaving, and this is how I see things, or something like that. Oh, they were not too happy about that. In fact, this person is very much triggered by the fact that you were actually able to see it and call them out on it. And it is a, it's like a feeling of this, like, I don't know how, I don't know what the, what you'd say this, this, this is, but it's like, they're just, like, you know how people grab a stress ball <laughs> and they, and they just like, uh, hur, hur, like that. Yeah. That's actually what that feels like to me. And, um, but that feeling of, well, you called me out on it. Um, it's not as bad as it once was. They, they get it. They see it. They understand it. And they also know and recognize that that action or that energy wasn't actually them. And that is one of the things to consciousness, right? Where we realize, oh, wait, that's not me. <laughs> oh, wait, wait a second, that's not me. That was just my human mind, right? You know, this is someone who's, ha who's starting to figure out that they're not that. And they don't have to do that. Those patterns, right? Um, those belief systems and how they conduct themselves, they don't actually have to do that anymore. In fact, they can totally end that. And they don't even want that as well as, as an experience. They don't want to be that. And it is one of the, it, it's like one of the very first steps to consciousness where you start to realize, I don't want this. I don't actually have to do it. And you get to change yourself. And that's why they're looking at this experience where you've told this person, um, and uh, so many words, right. Um, who they are and what they were doing. And, it, you put it to light or something like that. It's like, I see like this, this thing where it's like the stage and you, you, you shine the light on something that they were not ready um, to see, but they needed it to see. And very triggered by that experience, very angry at that experience. And now they're looking at this as a positive. It's a really big step in the right direction. Um, I do feel there's quite a bit that this person is starting to look at 
and reflect on to change and their when it comes to themselves, right? Um, when they have a taste, when we all have a taste of like, oh, I don't need to live this life anymore. In fact, I can live a life that I deserve. When we have a taste of that, we go to that. It, it takes work, obviously. It, it's consistency, obviously, persistence as well. Um, they're doing this now where they feel I, I can have that. You know, I didn't even think that was possible. And look at me now. I'm moving in that direction. It's a beautiful shift for this person. And they have you to thank for that. And uh, the experience, um, uh, what you shined a light on has helped this person thoroughly understand this as well. They really understand that they don't have to be that way and they can be someone, be who they actually are on a soulful level. Um, how else do they feel right now about Taurus? Um, pleasant energies, pleasant feelings, um, a calmness as well, uh, a calmness. Uh, I feel like there is a little bit of fear within this person that they feel like you may not see them for how much they've changed. And that isn't their responsibility, right? That's yours to see that. But they have that fear nonetheless that you won't see it. That, you know, uh, I mean, it, it feels like it's a 180. You know what I mean by that, right? Uh, like a 180 kind of experience. And this is someone who is like, how, how can they possibly believe that I have changed? Mm. That much. Sorry, yeah, that, that much, right? Um, you know, because it's such a big shift for this person. But that is the difference between samsara and consciousness and the first steps of consciousness. That is it. So, yes, they have changed. But, um like, you know, the way our human mind processes and possibly even yours, you may not see that change or you may not want to see the change, but the change is there. Mm, very beautiful. I'm going to leave it there. Taurus, I thank you. Don't forget to like and comment. Okay, so we are on 11 minutes and 45 seconds for Gemini. So let's take a look here. Gemini, um, Kuan Yin is going to be stepping forward to answer the questions for Gemini. Um what Kuan Yin wants to tell you, Gemini, is why your person has not come and why they haven't made any moves towards you. So this will be for those in no contact. It's a very clear message coming from Kuan Yin. So Kuan Yin, can you tell us, can you tell the Gemini viewers why nothing has changed in their connection with their person? This person right now is dealing with a lot of personal stuff that they have to resolve and finish and complete. Um, there, Kuan Yin says it's what humans refer to as karmic cycles. Um, as lessons, right? Um, spiritual lessons that we all have to learn um, and that we all have to wrap up. These are things, these are energies that are unfinished, right? They're not unlived, they're unfinished and incomplete. And this is someone who needs to complete out these cycles before you and them can actually even share space in a harmo or in a more harmonious manner. Um, because right now, between you and this person, if they were to come in, it would be chaos and um, it would be more upheaval. And it's probably going to be that regardless, right? Depending on what your connection is, but it would be really bad. And they, what this person needs to learn is more of, I think they need to learn more of, of, of how to regulate the self. Um, I think that they may swing um, to opposite ends where maybe they're open and then the other side they're closed or maybe they're they're angry and they're bitter and then they take it out on people. I don't know what this person's uh, thing is, but there's a regulation issue with this person that they have to learn. They have to learn at the hard way to um, do these experiences. A lot of people, right, um, we have, it's not that you shouldn't express your anger, um, but we all have to learn how to process and deal with our anger and start to heal it, right? Because our anger is coming from somewhere. It's usually a past life, by the way, but whatever. Um, but this is someone who needs to regulate the self and learn um, to regulate the self. I also feel that they have a codependency energy as well, because they, there is this, um, it's very typical for um, humans to have this, where you think that um, the person that you're with needs to make you happy you don't know you make yourself happy, right? But they have that energy where they would be looking for you to make them happy, probably by saying stuff or stroking their ego or making them feel nice, right? That isn't your job. Your job is to just be yourself. And if they like that, they like that. If they don't, they don't, right? But this is someone where they have a little bit of that energy of I'm looking for the person I'm with to get make me happy. Um, and as anyone who's conscious understands just how how toxic that that belief is and how it actually 
impacts relationships. And this is someone who they just not conquered that yet. Maybe you haven't either. Who knows, right? Um, if you haven't, you should work on it because making yourself happy is amazing. But um, this is someone who has this energy where I need someone to make me happy. And when you start sucking each other dry, you got nothing left and you become um, bitter. You become... I don't know, um, bored and shallow, right? What what words would you say, um, Kuan Yin? Flat. So you're saying that's a good word. Um, you become very flat, like flat water. You know when water's been staying in the same place for a long time? Um, my dog does not like flat water anymore. He likes fountain water. <laughs> he likes that. He likes it when it's moving, right? Um, yeah, like that. Okay, that's very good. Anyway, anything else, Kuan Yin, um, right now for how this person currently feels about Gemini? Just that they're wrapping things up. It's going to take them a while, is what Kuan Yin says, for this person to do what they need to do. It, it's um, the lessons that they are being faced with are tough tough ones. Let me see why they're struggling to do it. Um, their mind, their mind is the biggest issue as to why they're struggling. Kuan Yin just touched me um, on my arm. Um just, I don't know why she wanted me to just take note of that. Maybe some of you felt something on yourself. Um, a little touch, a little tap. It was a tap, actually. Um, but this is someone who just, their, their, their mind is what's keeping them from healing. Um, they don't think anything's wrong with looking for someone that makes you happy. They don't think there's anything wrong with that, right? With, with looking for someone that makes you feel good. Right. Um, and I, I know that that seems like it's nothing wrong with it. Right. But we shouldn't we should be feeling good on our own and we should be uh, enjoying our life, not looking for someone to make us feel better. And this is it. This is it. their issue. It's their, I think it's probably their exact issue. I feel like it comes from the mother experience as well. Um, a codependency with the mother or some kind of toxic dynamic with their mom um, has very much in, has very much laid this imprint within them um, that they're having a hard time shaking. Mm, very interesting. All right. I'm going to leave it there, Gemini. I thank you. Don't forget to like and comment. So let's see. 16. Oh, we're at 17. 17. And it's for cancer. All right. Let's take a look here. St. Germain going to be answering. St. Germain, can you tell me, what are cancer's person's current feelings for cancer? Um, they have a lot of feelings for you, but they are not able right now to tell you the truth about how they feel. Let me see, what is their issue? Like It's, it's like, I, I know how I feel. I'm not sure how I feel. But how do I say that? Hmm, how do I become open? How do I open myself up to that degree? Um, I think that they could say, I love you to you, but it's not. There's nothing backing that energy up. In fact, or there's very little backing up. I think this person has an immense block on their heart that keeps them from giving love out. Um, usually, um, St. Germain says, usually we have one very bad one. Either it's to give love out or to receive it. Mine's was to receive. Most people's is to receive. But this person, their exact issue is they have an issue to giving it out. Um, because, ooh, <coughs> ooh. Because they've had this issue for their entire life, they don't even recognize that this is an issue. It's like, um, you know, when we don't really, um, you know, when we've never really experienced anything else, right? So we think what we are experiencing is normal. It's like people who are toxic. Right? or people who are in low vibrations, they think, well, this is normal, right? Um, they have never experienced a higher vibrational frequency. So they don't, they really don't understand that they should be striving for higher. There's something like this with this person. They know, <clears throat> they know they want to give love out. They don't know how, and they don't even get what they're missing with that experience as well. Um, so this is someone who's currently has a massive mega block that's there. It stems from a past life. I actually see it going back to a lifetime um, about a thousand years ago, um, about a thousand years ago. So it would be something long Long, a long standing issue throughout all of their lifetimes um, where they've never been able to give it, um, to give that love out. And it's something that they were born with. It was an issue that they were born with. I think they could receive love uh, well, I probably better than they give it out, that's for sure. But I don't think they give it very, very easily. In fact, I think that they just have a complete and utter block. It's crazy if you ask me. But they can remove that. Let me see if there's any help and our assistance coming towards them. I do feel there is their angels. Their angels are working with them. But 
um, they need the 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 consciousness, right? Um, like for them to consciously be removing it to actually make some meaningful progress in this area. Um, but it is there. And it's what's interesting about this is they don't even know that there's a problem. That's why it's the biggest issue, isn't it? Right? When you know that there's a problem, when you have awareness to it, you can then move to, to remove it. Like you would naturally move to remove it. Oh, I have an issue with giving out love. You hear that, you know, oh my God, I do. Right. And then you like in the coming weeks and months and even years, you would be removing it completely from yourself. Right. You would be getting rid of it. Um, but since they don't even have any, and I do mean any awareness to the fact that they are not able to give the capacity of love out that they should, um, they don't even get, there's a problem to fix. And this is uh, this is probably their the biggest issue right now. Um, but again, I feel like there is uh, an angel or being a light trying to work with them to get them to know and understand this. All right. So anything else that you want to say for how they feel about um, cancer? They do have deep feelings for you. Um, they just won't. They will never be able to express them in a deep and meaningful way without that block being removed. I feel a lot of views may. It just may feel this way. Um, it isn't true, obviously, but you may feel this way where you don't think they, they love you that much or they don't have feelings for you. Or um, maybe it's one-sided. There's something like this that you should be feeling with this energy where it's like they're, they, they could be there, they could be present, but it doesn't feel like anything. And why you don't feel anything has something to do with there not being feelings there. There are. It's there. It, that block makes it, it makes them unable to push that energy out of their heart. Uh, so none of it, almost none of it gets out. I actually see some sprinkles coming out a little bit here and there, but it's not much. So um, their capacity to love is very, very low. Um, so it, you would naturally feel like they don't love you or they don't want you or they never cared about you. And none of that's true, by the way. Um, but it may have been your own trigger to heal. So take that in mind. But that's it. That's it. Let's see. Any Anything else? There's deep feelings. Quan, uh, sorry, Quan Yin saying there's deep feelings here. There are times that a being of light is minimizing it so that they can give out more. Um, I feel like that experience is going to be hitting them. It could be hitting you as well if you have your own blocks to giving out love. There's times when it may minimize a being of light does this. I, I do get it. Sometimes we think we just need to have the right person for that love to come out. But um, that's not true. We love everyone. We actually love every single person here, like so much, like they're our most favorite person. I know I sound crazy, right? Um, but sometimes beings of light will come in and they'll minimize the block so that we can actually learn what giving love out feels, feels like so that we can then work on striving for that. So some of you may have that issue where you've, you felt like you were giving a lot of love out for the first time. And, um, it, you were always blocked. <laughs> uh, so, so a being light just came in and minimized it so that you can feel that. Work on learning to give love out more. That's the message that's coming through from Kuan Yin. L work on it. Work on having that compassionate heart and that loving heart. Um, that's where your strength is, okay? That's all I got for you, Cancer. I thank you. Don't forget to like and comment. So we're at 2305 for Leo. All righty. Let's just take a look here. Um, Leo, Leo, Leo. Okay, wait, I had to pause it for a moment, Leo. Um, let's take a look here. Who is going to be answering the questions? We have um, a Metatron stepping forward to answer your question. So, a Metatron, can you tell me what are Leo's person's current feelings for Leo right now? Mm -mm 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 -mm. He gives me shaky ground. Um, I don't know if this person is maybe scared to face you or they have another connection in their life. There's something about if I have feelings for Leo, then I'm going to have to do something I don't want to do. And I am scared to do it. So I, I don't know what this is referring to exactly, but there is something about like there is a foundation that will have to break in order for them to actually express their feelings for you and in order for them to actually tell you um, and be with you kind of thing. Um, there is a foundation. This could just be um, maybe scared to face you just in general or to, to, to be expressive in this way. But I feel that there's actually something or someone in this person's life that is a rocky foundation that has to be broken up. I am watching Meg too right now, but there is some um, medicine is giving me the imagery of, you know, like the seabed floor cracking open. And then it's like, um, 
it's it's there's no going back, right? Uh, there is something like that uh, uh, here as well, where if they were to tell you how they feel, there it there really isn't going back um, uh, to whatever this shaky foundation is. Like there, it, once that decision has been made, it's made and it's done, and it, there's it, there's I, it, there's finality with that, and that makes this person very scared. Humans, our human mind is very much afraid about these experiences where we cannot. Um, backtrack if you wanted to. That's where everyone, every, I don't know if you've noticed this, but um, Manitron is bringing up how we shop. We get the, we, when we shop, we don't, we don't, we don't put too much pressure on it because we can just return it, right? Um, almost always anyway, right? Uh, so it's, this is something that cannot be returned if they were to destroy that foundation. And that is what makes this person so scared about telling you how they feel and so scared about making moves in your direction. And they're unable they're unable, right, um, to make a choice because of that fear that's there. Um, it's not the choice itself. It's the finality that it creates in their life that is the fear, um, that is the, th the Achilles heel for this person. Let me see if they're working through this. Are they working through this, Metatron? She says, nope. Nope, they're not working through this right now. Um, Metatron says that sometimes it depends on who they are, what they're meant to do, and if they're ready for it or not. Sometimes um, a, a shift will happen for the best um, that helps maybe seal this right, um, or destroy it. So I see something like that potentially happening, um, but it's not for all of them. I think this person needs to make that choice that they do want to be free of that and they're willing to be free of that. They're holding this is very typical for humans holding on to what they don't like. It's the human mind, right? The human condition holding on to what they don't like, but they have it, right? Um, instead of just letting that go and moving towards something else that's significantly better. Like no one wants to do that experience for some reason. And that's very much the human condition. And this is someone who's very much stuck there as a result of that human condition. So I don't see them changing. I just I I don't feel it. Um they, they will need a really big shift for this person to do it. It's kind of like, um, I have an example that comes through from Metatron, where it's like, let's say this person is married and the other person says, I want a divorce. And then they backtrack on that divorce. And then that I can, I can potentially see the person saying, well, you said that already, so I'm going. I can potentially see that, but I don't see them initiating a divorce themselves. Not saying that there's a divorce you know, for you, but it's an example. Um, but it's like that. Um, I can see them uh, following through on someone else's um, initiation, but not starting it themselves. Um, they just don't have the energy. Um, they just they, their energy is just not compatible um, right now with taking control of your life and um, being so sovereign. Sovereign, yeah. Anyway, um, anything else on Metatron and this person's feelings? They are there. Um, it's important that you know. That it doesn't mean it's going to like their feelings for you are not going to get them to make different choices. Their feelings for you are not going to get them to change their life. Um, their feelings for you are not going to get them to um, to speak their truth of how they feel about you right now. Um, that could change, but it's it's it, it won't be to do with the feelings for you. It would do it would be to do with the fact that they want something different for themselves. And right now they're just not in that energy. They don't care if that is a crappy foundation. They just don't want anything different right now. And that's why they stay in whatever this is that they're staying in. Um, it's that. So it's again, it's uh, the love won't work here. It's not a good motivator. This person just had the experience that they're in has to um, run its course before they decide to change. And I don't see them deciding to change before then. Okay. Um, anything else? Anything else? I think we're good. All right, Leo, that's all I got for you. I thank you. Don't forget to like and comment. So we're at 28. 48 for Virgo. Let's take a look here. Um, Virgo, 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 Virgo. Uh, let's see. Metatron stepping forward to answer the questions. Virgo. Um, mm, mm, mm. What are Virgo's person's current feelings for Virgo right now? Buried deep. Okay, I'm watching the mag. I swear I'm watching it. But it's showing me the seabed floor where it is a deep, deep, deep. They, Their feelings for you are there. They don't typically mind their feelings for you as much. You know, a lot of times people will cultivate that feeling of love that they have for someone. Like they're just holding it and they're just like, keeping themselves warm with it and um, they're rubbing it all over their bodies and, and all their private parts. They just rub, 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 right? 
this person isn't doing that experience. They used to, um, but they don't do that anymore. This is someone who knows that their feelings for you exist. They know that if they were to dig on the seabed floor, that they would actually um, find a lot of feelings for you, very valuable feelings for you. But they're not doing that right now. Let me see why. I believe it has to do with the work that I constantly get for the Virgo readings. Um, they're they're probably very successful or they're trying to be successful at the work. And this is why they're not digging and cultivating their feelings for you. I feel this is someone who thinks that their feelings for you um, are something that slowed them down. And I don't think that they're necessarily wrong about that when it comes to career, right? I don't think that's wrong. I think that, that, that these persons are actually quite spot on. Um, but it is why they currently do not harvest, do not cultivate, do not even experience their feelings for you and the energy that they feel towards you. Um, it's like I see all these walls on this person. Uh, they're actually near the back or they're probably in the blind spots. That's actually where I see them in blind spots where they don't even realize I have these blocks to my feelings for Virgo, but they do have the blocks to their feelings for you. And they're not even aware of it. Um, but what they're focusing on um, is in some ways fulfilling, right? Um, it, it's gratifying as well. <sighs> Sorry. <sighs> fulfilling and gratifying. Um, and I feel like this is someone who just doesn't see the point in investing in their feelings for you because it never paid off in the past or in that it worked out in the past or nothing changed here in the past. And this is someone where it's like, they're no longer wasting their time feeling how they feel about you. Um, and it, it's not that if you, you were to come together that the feelings wouldn't thaw and rise to the surface. I actually see that happening, but until that day happens, if it happens, they're not going to harvest or feel their feelings for you. It, there is no point to them. And I, this person's actually pretty set on this right now. Let's see. Um, Metatron, is there anything else that you have that you want to say to Virgo about their person's feelings for them? They're there. They will be there when they're needed. But right now, where they are in life, it's not needed. Um, it's not it's not helpful. Yeah, it's not helpful. It's almost like they pushed it out of them um, right now. Let me see and see. Is there anything else? Is there, um, let's, can we dig underneath the seabed? What's here? Rich ore. Like that's what he says. Rich ore. Very rich ore of love that they have for you. Uh, very dense as well. Um, it's valuable, um, is what Metatron says. It's so valuable, but it's not valuable if there's no use or no one's buying it. I hope that makes sense. Yeah, I think, sorry, I think that works. Yeah. Um, like this is so valuable, but if it, there's no use for it, why would they harvest it? Right. I think that's, I, I think that's where he wants to leave it for you, Virgo. It is true that the love that they have for you is super valuable, but if, there, if there's no use for this love, what do you do with it? Like, why would I, why would I take the time to harvest that? Why would I take the time to cultivate that? Um, if there is no use, if there's no applicable, Applo applicable use for this. Um, and there isn't. And that's exactly what's exactly how this person currently sees things right now. Um, and that isn't going to change until there is an application for this rich ore. And so there's a use for it. They're not going to harvest it. And they are sure about that as well. Um, uh, sorry, St. Germain says that it's kind of like, you know, permafrost. Yeah. Like that. I don't know what permafrost is, but he says it's like that. Anyway, um, that's all I got for you, um, Virgo. Thank you. Don't forget to like and comment. So we're at 32. All right, so we know 33, 33 for Libra. Let's take a look here. Libra, Libra, Libra. What are Libra's person's current feelings for Libra right now? Hmm. I feel when they think about their feelings for you, it doesn't trigger them or it doesn't create that overwhelming like robust sensation that they used to feel in fact i feel like their feelings for you used to quite frankly overwhelm them and was like a sensory overload um do you know in like factories and stuff or like a like a nuclear plant where there's like a limit where it's like oh you go if you go past this limit you're in trouble you're you know um their feelings for you in the past used to go well beyond that limit and it used to overwhelm them. I feel like this is someone who may have had a habit of maybe um, 
anger or gotten very emotional, um, something like this. Um, when they did this, it was them detoxing um, the pressure that they felt when they felt their feelings for you. I hope that makes sense. Yeah, it was like a detox. So they were acting really emotional or erratic or maybe even angry. It was them releasing the overwhelming feelings that they had for you. And now it's like it's normal levels. Um, you may not be in each other's lives right now um, because what um, – what Saint Germain says is that this that if they were in your life, then they'll it, those limits will be pushed again. But I don't think that this person would be overwhelmed like they once were. Um, in fact, I think that they have a better grasp of their emotional body, and I think they're a lot more balanced than they used to be. But I think in the past they were not very balanced, and they um they may have taken it out on you as well. But it had nothing to do with you. It had everything to do with their feelings for you overwhelming them and making them feel like they were about to blow. And uh, now it's like more of a normal, even keel. Um, this is someone who's more balanced, good head on their shoulders. Um, they feel um, like they're in a good place as well. I feel like they're in a really good place. Let's see. Um, uh, what else do you want to say about this, St. Germain, for this person's feelings for Libra? Um, they think about nice things that they would love to do with you. And I, I know, I know, I know the physical dimension, our human mind, I get it. Right. But in reality, when we are with our energy, you know, interacting with someone else's energy, um, that is real, right? <laughs> it is what it is. It is real. And this person does that to you often. Um, so you may feel them or you may feel like, um, your feelings for them may be, have uh, maybe they've they've they're, they're not as angry as much or something like that but whatever the case is um this is someone who uses your energy and with their own energy and kind of uh um works through experiences that they want to have with you and these these times that they're working through these experiences it's helped them calm down because i feel um if they still had this erratic energy, then they will take it out on you. And so this is someone who's becoming closer, inching closer and closer and closer to being able to be in your presence and not be overwhelmed and um, eventually not be someone who takes it out on you or be someone who becomes um, a, an emotional wreck, right? Um, and we all know, we've all been around people or seen it on TV where people do this, right? Um, where they clearly can't handle it and it's not, um, it, that takes training, right? And this is someone where your connection has helped them train to be more balanced, helped them train to be more, um, uh, okay, sorry, um, St. Jeremy brought for an example. It's like, do you know that, that point when you're like, let's say you're making something in a big pot and there's water, right? It, it's not, you know, when you have the flame, if you put it too high, it explodes over, right? We all know that, right? And you put too low, it's, it's not good enough, right? So this is someone, it's like where they are now is they're at that even, that, 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 that nice little sweet spot where they don't overflow anymore. <laughs> and, um, they don't, then they don't, they're not cooling off too quickly as well, right? This is someone who can maintain that um that that heat, right? Maintain that zest, maintain that that life, right? Um, that they have, right? Without overdoing it and over and overflowing themselves. I hope that makes sense. It's a good example. It's a good one. Um, but we've all been there where you put too much, uh, or you put it too high and it just explodes and you have to run and do it. That that's what that's who they used to be as someone who would explode. Um, now they don't explode. So it, it is nice, is it not? Um, let's see. <clears throat> is there anything else um, about this? I think we're good. I think we're good on that. I think that was a good example as well. Perfect. Um, perfect example of soup, I guess. Okay, so we are, um, don't forget to like and comment, Libra. So we're on Scorpio 30, oops, 39. For Scorpio, let's take a look here. So Kwan Yin is going to be answering your question, Scorpio. Um, uh, Kwan Yin, can you tell me what are Scorpio's person's current feelings for Scorpio right now? I feel they beat themselves up a lot about you. Um, it, it's There is this uh, feeling coming through. Do you know um, 
we've all done this, right? Our human mind loves to do this, um, where we have a bad experience and we feel really crappy about it, right? And our mind constantly relives it. <laughs> do you, you, we have all been there, right? Our human mind is choosing to relive that experience so that it punishes us even more. And they're having this experience right now where whatever they did to you, and I think um, other people as well, but whatever they did to you, their human mind is making them replay it, relive it, re-experience it again and again and again. And this is actually really painful. And um, there is purpose here. Like this is someone who needs to tell their mind to stop, right? We've all been there. I, I, it's like these steps, all of, uh, all of you should have taken or you should be taking now, right? Where you're telling your mind, stop it. You don't treat me like that, right? We've all been there, right? That is consciousness. It's you It's you taking control. And this is someone who's just, they're not quite there yet, but they are. They will. I actually see them getting it um, there in like mid-October or maybe the end of October. There's a really big um, enough of this already. But we've all been there. Like I know I, I remember a long time ago where I would just, my mind was constantly making me feel horrible. And I finally said, stop. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was a big thing. And that's something that I, I did. Uh, I wasn't even thinking about it, but that was a big step. It's a really big step when you tell your mind to stop it. Um, yeah, they will eventually, but they're just not quite there yet. But they're, currently their mind, it's like, um, <clears throat> like you know that, I, I don't know what that thing is called, that like projector. And it's like they're sitting there and they're having to force themselves, watch it and relive that experience again and again and again. And it's painful. Um. Let's see what else is their current. What else they're currently going through? They're at a very low vibration. Um, they're not feeling that great. Whew, my throat center very much closed. Uh, very much closing. Um, can we have the beans light help me with my throat center, please? Um, just you know clear that out. But ugh. anyway, I can feel this person's throat center very closed. Um, right now, oh, I see. Um, Kuan Yin. <coughs> She's saying that when the throat center closes, you build up anger. And right now, they need to be mad enough to tell their mind to stop it. That's where this comes from. Yeah. Sorry. I, I was wondering what this is all about. Is like, it really, I felt it clenching. I was like, why? Oh, my God. I want to, like, why is my throat, whew, um, why is it going through that? But it, when when it closes up, it blocks all oh, the anger. Just, 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 just it, It's like you start to explode. And this is someone who needs to have that experience where they say, enough. We've all been there, though, have we not? You know, you can, I'm sure you can go back and remember those experiences were big. That you telling your mind, no, mm. enough, right? Stop it. <laughs> it's a, that's a big thing. Uh, anyway, okay, um, anything else about what, how this person feels right now? Just a lot of regret, a lot of guilt. They're going through it, by the way. Their mind is unrelenting with this, by the way. It, it is constantly it's like a stream of energy that's constantly playing in their mind and making them relive and experience this. Um, I think they're having a hard time focusing on work, life, all that good stuff. They're even having a hard time um, getting gratification from any of their vices or any of their addictions. It just doesn't work anymore. Um, it, it won't, their mind has, it, it's, their mind has a has has gone past the point of no return. Like it can't go back to normal. Like it, it's like it's getting worse and worse and worse, and nothing this person does can stop it. Um, very brutal experience, but one that we've all had to live through. Um, and that's what they're currently going through right now. Anyway, any any anything else? Anything else at all? Beans of light. I want to say for Scorpio's reading. Have compassion and understanding and love for them, of course, always. Um, that is always the case. Um, but let's see, is there anything else? You may have this as well. Um, it is, it's not going to be for everyone, but there is a, a note, like a, an addendum, where some of you may be experiencing this as well. Um, it is your right to tell your mind to stop. You don't need to be angry to do it, but you probably already had that experience. But whatever your mind's doing to you, that is annoying, usually it fills you with crap or it tells you all these nasty things about yourself or it tells you nasty things about other people. It, it's really annoying, is it not? Um, our mind is doing that, not our soul. Our soul is us. That's what consciousness is, where our mind itself is always doing this. Um, uh, it's, I, I look at some people 
And then I have my mind saying all these nasty things about them. And I'm like, I don't think that I don't feel that. And I know that's not true. And it's like, I tell my mind, no. And there is a very, 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 um, a big suggestion coming forward for you, Scorpio, where you need to do that same, um, be willing to tell your mind to stop. Um, it has to listen. All right. I thank you. Don't forget to like and comment. And I do appreciate it. So we're at 40. 4, 55, 4, Sagittarius. All right, let's take a look here. Sagittarius. Mm, 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 mm. Metatron. Metatron, can you tell me what are Sagittarius' person's current feelings for Sagittarius right now? Um, let's take a look here. I feel like this is someone who is still recovering and healing from the ending that you two experience. They're in a regeneration phase, and they're trying to get their bearings. I think that you may have like rose like a Phoenix very fast from this person. And it's taking them like, I don't know, a year, years, months, uh, who knows to even start to lift off and rise from this a chaotic situation that you had or whatever kind of ending that you had with this person. They're very, it's very, it's very clear. Metatron is saying that, um, that they have been struggling right? Um, to do what you did um, very effortlessly. It feels like you just did it like that um, in a very quick su succession, right? You just went boom, boom, boom. And you went to the next thing, next thing, next thing. And all of a sudden you're out of this and you're feeling great. Um, or you're feeling a lot better than you ever have. And this is someone who's been very much at the lower vibrations. I do feel they have friends that have been helping them get through this, but the connections themselves are not very... Mm, there's not much energy there. There's not much juice there. So they don't really work that much, right? So, but their friends have been. All of us have, uh, I think we all can wrap our head around that um, scenario, right? Where you have friends trying to cheer up one friend, right? It, it usually doesn't work because the connections aren't strong. Um, <laughs> it is what it is. But you know what I'm talking about. And this is someone where the, the people in their life, their connections that they have with them are just not strong enough to pick them up, right? So they've been having to learn to do this by themselves. And it's something that you did effortlessly. You did it without, it, it, it's like, honestly, it kind of feels like you just, um, okay, I am watching Meg too. I got to be real. But um, there's a scene in that where like all these rocks are coming down. And then um, it's like the way that uh, that, that Metatron showed me is that you just dodge right through them and you didn't even get scraped really. And you just made it to the surface like that. Um, this is someone who's still stuck at the bottom of the sea. Um, actually, no, they're more in the middle, uh, middle top. Um, right now, but they are rising. Mm, they are. Um, so what this person's feelings are for you? Um, I don't know. It's not really to catch up per se. Um, it is not really feelings about you per se, but it's kind of what they're going through. This is someone who's learning um, to get to that surface. They, it, mm, how do I, oh, how do I phrase this? How do I phrase this to you? For them, this is a big ass deal. It's big, like for who they are, what energy they brought into this life and how much energy they brought into this life, what they're doing, when, the, uh, um, uh, from what, they, what they're doing um, and how long it's taking them, right, um, is a big deal. So even though they're slow, real slow, um, it, is, uh, it is a major big thing for them. And it's, uh, it's something that deserves, right? Um, recognition, and it also deserves praise. Mm -hmm. um, and it, it's 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 interesting. Um, uh, some people could may not ever make it, even off the very you know the, the very bottom of the seabed. They may not ever make it. And this is someone who is just a little bit more than halfway through right now. Um, and it's something that you did a while ago. I think you're in, I think you're in the, um, and you're in space at this point. Um, and this person is, is there, but they are working, they are trying and they haven't given up and that says a lot. And it does feel like it's taking them a while to get to where they are though, uh, from a logical perspective. Anyway, um, anything else that you want to say for how they feel right now about Sagittarius determined, mm. they're determined to catch up to you. Yeah. They're determined to um, see you. A lot of them are determined to spend time with you and to be with you um, as well. They're very determined about this. Like they know what they want. Um, 
I don't know if that example works, but um, it's like a, a missile. And you know how a missile has target? <laughs> you're their target. <laughs> so they're the missile, you're the target, and they're looking to come in and just like a um, missile you. It is what it is. That's that's what they gave me as an example. But I, it's not the missile itself that's important. It's the fact that the missile always finds its target. And this is someone who sees you as that target. Um, and that's what they're moving. And that's actually what's getting them to move as well. Very beautiful. Interesting. Um, I think that's it. I want to thank you, Sagittarius. Don't forget to like and comment. So we are at 50 for Capricorn. <clears throat> Oof. Uh, okay, let's see. Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. Oh, hold on. One second, Capricorn. I just want to like look at this really quickly. No, it did not get delivered. Okay. Um, Capricorn. Oh, what are Capricorn's person's feelings for Capricorn? Um, we have St. Germain who's stepping forward to answer your question, Capricorn. St. Germain, can you tell me what are Capricorn's person's current feelings for Capricorn? Very triggered by you. Very wounded still as well. It's not as bad as it's been. Um, I want to say in the months that of uh, that well, I've been doing this reading or you've been watching, I guess. Not it's not as bad. Um, they are healing from this. It's scabbed over. Um, but what they have a habit of doing, Capricorn, is when it heals and it's scabbing, they pick at it. So this person is constantly doing that. And we all know, pick out a damn scab. It will be like it was when it first got cut or whatever. <clears throat> my throat keeps closing. Um, you just answer the guides. Can you help me clear out my throat center? Thank you. Anyway, um, this is someone who's very much picking at the scabs as well. There are certain things that so, you're, whatever happened, and it feels like there was a very, uh, um, I want to say abrupt or brutal ending that you had with this person, very much like a shocker ending. And there are things that they don't want to recognize as the reason why it ended. So I feel like they could be playing the victim, but I don't think that's all it is. I think that there are things about themselves that they're not able to comprehend. It kind of reminds me of whenever I do um, like private reading for some, some people, not everyone has this issue, but some people do, where your ego blocks you from seeing things about yourself because it's protecting you. It kind of feels like this person has that issue where their ego is blocking them from seeing the truth about, well, who they actually are. And um, so it feels like you may have brought it to their attention and they're like, that's not me. And they really do believe that that's not them, even though in their heart they know it is because their ego is creating a big block there. Um, so they're very triggered by you still, um, but it's not as bad as it once was. But again, I feel like there is a definitely, there's some kind of ego or at least a blind spot that is um, keeping them from seeing the truth about who they are, how they act and how they present to the world and how they treat people for that matter as well. It's like there's, it, it's like the, and again, this isn't them being willfully blind. It's not their ego or, or even their human mind are what's blocking them from seeing the truth. And until that block is, is undone or until they get their ego um, under control, they're not going to be able to see the truth. And if you were to tell someone, um, that you are this and their ego is protecting them from that, they get so triggered. Like it is shocking how triggered they get. Um, I've had that experience and I had to do it. And I know, I, I already knew I was gonna be, what I was going to be dealing with backlash, is it not? Um, they're very angry at you. And I'm just like, I'm just telling you what it is. It's anyway. Um, but this is someone where I feel like you telling them, well, the truth, um, it, it made them, it, it made them very, very triggered. And it's the this, this trigger is still there. The ego blockage is still keeping them from seeing. And they're stuck now. They need to. I think that's why they're picking their scabs, if I'm being honest with you. They have to reopen the wound so that they can address it, right? This hurt me. Why did this hurt me? If, if someone tells you um, you take advantage of people and that hurt you, you obviously do because that hurt you, right? It would have passed through you if it wasn't true. So they're repicking that, um, that scab. Or I'm not saying it's that one, but that's a good example, right? Um, a lot of no one wants to think that they're doing these things, but if you get triggered by it, then you absolutely are. And that is the key. That's the key to knowing. But um, it, it feels like it's something like that. They have to just readdress uh, uh, the wound. They have to re really look at this again. I think that they will see it. I think that they will see it. But we'll. Uh, but I'm not sure how long it will take. Anyway, anything else about how this person feel, is feeling right now about Capricorn? 
not ready to face you. No. It's a very strong, like, 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 uh, I can feel it in the root chakra. Mm. Like they just don't feel comfortable facing you right now. Um, it's from the ego though. I can feel it. The ego is clenching up and trying to protect them. No, don't, don't go to them. They'll tell you the truth. And it's just like, um, the ego just want to, wants to protect them. Our ego always wants to protect us from seeing things. It is what it's just what it does, right? It's always trying to shield us. You know how, how can people be a certain way? Your ego is literally not, uh, literally blocking you from seeing that you are that way. It, it is just what it's just literally what's happening. It's crazy, is it? But it is the truth. And um, right now, their ego doesn't want to see you, and is constantly pumping them with that information and that energy. Um, I do feel they're going to work through this stuff. They have to. They have to. Um, the, the the wound won't heal until they completely address um, what they're not seeing. Anyway, I think that's it. That's all I got for you, uh, Capricorn. I thank you. Don't forget to like and comment. So we're at 55, 44, Aquarius. Let's take a look here. So Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. Uh, let's see who's going to be answering St. Germain. St. Germain, can you tell me what are Aquarius, this person's current feelings for Aquarius right now? Um, sorry, he's showing, oh, St. Germain's showing me the third eye. Um, the third eye is a true seeing eye. But I don't, I don't, is that what you're trying to, oh, ho, 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 hold on. I feel that this person is having a third eye activation right now. This third eye activation is very powerful. And it's going to create a big shift in this person's life. Uh, the third eye activation is going to allow them to see the truth. Um, it's funny because uh, for a Capricorn's person, they were not seeing the truth. And I think it's very funny that it, it always happens that way, which I think is very interesting anyway. But um, Aquarius, your person is starting to have that third eye activation. And they're now starting to be able to see the truth. So this truth comes in many forms in many ways. Um, one of the truths that they are seeing are about the people in their life. Um, the people in their life actually don't think too much of this person. And when we see that, it often does not inspire us to want to prove them wrong. Hmm? It does, does it not? I know it did for me. I don't know about you, but um, it certainly did for me. And I had no, I had no issues um, proving everyone wrong. But they are starting to see that. So I feel like this person has low vibrational connections in their life. And these individuals um, see them in a low vibrational light. And they're now starting to recognize, oh, they don't think much of me. Why do I even have them in my life? And why don't I prove them wrong? It's a combination of the two. So the third eye activation is going to help them see these things for what they are. Not just that. They'll also be able to see themselves for who they are. When our third eye isn't activated and third eye activations happen when we're ready. Well, when our third eye activation isn't, isn't activated, we cannot possibly see how amazing we are without it. it it's not, it, it's like our human mind is what's kind of um, uh, whew, taking the reins of our per own perceptions of ourselves. And our human mind's horrible, right? It's just, it's a construct and it's constantly beating us down. But our third eye activation allows us to see the truth about how we, who we really are and what we're capable of. And they're learning to find their strength right now. Um, this is someone who's learning to find, um, learning and figuring out that they're stronger than they ever thought possible. And that's a beautiful thing. Let's see what else the third eye is doing. Oh, this is what I got as your very first message. Um, their third eye is showing them a future between you and them. It's an odd thing to have come through, though. Um, but it, it, the third eye is having, a, a, it's like a really, really beneficial uh, effect on this person's life. But that one seems to be the biggest one because the first message I've received. And uh, they're, they're able to see, visually see a future with you. And... That's a big deal. That's a big deal, by the way. Let me see. Um, what are they currently seeing, um, uh, St. Germain? What is this person currently seeing? Holding hands, dancing. Um, I see a scene of Beauty and the Beast is what it is. Something like that. It, it, I think it's Beauty and the Beast, yeah. Um, a scene like that with a ball kind of thing. Um, I think this person, maybe they just watched that, but they, it, some, whatever is in our mind that usually plays out here. I have Meg currently playing out in my mind. So it is, I, I know that's how it works. But anyway, um, they can just see 
a future. And the, without their third eye activations, they saw nothing. They thought it wasn't even possible. That it, 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 it couldn't even um, come to fruition. It, it, it wouldn't be fortuitous, right? And now they're starting to think, oh, wait a second. I can see it now. I can see it. If you can see it in your mind's eye, it's possible. That's the point. And this is someone who's starting to make this connection. And they're starting to trust their third eye. And they're starting to believe um, that they're capable of having that future with you. They do want it. Whether you are together romantically or not, they do want that. But up until this point of the third eye activations, they have not been aware it was even a possibility. Mm. Wow. Anything else? Anything else that you want to add to this? No, um, I think that they wear bracelets now, rock, like, you know, um, with stones. I think they wear that now. I, I, I know it's an odd thing, but um, that is a step in the right direction. It really is. It, it is a step in the right direction because these things help stabilize us. They stabilize our energy. Um, they are wearing something like that now. They could wear it in their pocket. I see some people, they have a little stone. They put it in their pocket. Um as long as it's touching your skin, it works, but or touching you, it works. Um, but this is someone where they're wearing stuff like this now, and they're starting to take care of their of this balance and equilibrium, and they're starting to actually be more mindful about higher vibrations, and they want more of that higher vibration, less of the low vibrations. Um, but I uh, sorry, <clears throat> Saint Germain is bringing up the fact that they have friends in their life that think very low of them. I don't know why it's coming through again, but it's there. Um, they have to deal with that, you know. I, it, it's I, I know we look at that and think, oh, it's so horrible, so wrong. No, it's not. There's no, no such thing as that, right? It is, but that has purpose. And that purpose is helping ignite that fire that needs to be lit in them. And uh, it's, it, it, it's, it's important that we have those experiences, is it not? So, you know, that, that, that make us fight. Right. Um, it is what it is. It's it's currently what's happening. And it's important that 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 happens. Right now. Um, it's important that that's happening right now as well. OK. Yeah. That's all I got for you. Uh, Chris, thank you. Don't forget to like and comment. OK, so let's see. We're at one. One forty four Pisces. All right. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Let's see who's going to be answering your questions. We have Metatron who's stepping forward to answer your questions. Metatron, can you tell me what are Pisces, this person's current feelings for Pisces right now? <clears throat> Sorry. Um, what are Pisces, this person's current feelings for Pisces right now? Let's take a look here. They feel um, like right now they can't make any moves towards you or any kind of um, momentum. It's almost like... Ooh, I have to say it. This is the example I'm getting. It's like they need four wheel drive, but they don't got four wheel drive. So they're not able to make the trek to you. Um, they feel like they just don't have the, the right vehicle. I feel the fact that vehicle is it and it, that's not a coincidence. I feel like this person would really benefit from a Merkaba activation, their light body activation. It is very likely as well, Pisces, that you would act if you don't have your Merkaba activated, that you're going to want to activate your 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 vehicle, your light body, um, because that really does help us um, when it comes to stuff that's a little bit more treacherous or something that has a that ter terrain that's a little bit more rocky. It really does help stabilize us. It helps us get through it very easily. Um, it is a very powerful tool. Um, but what Menachan says is they would really benefit from a light body activation and one that I think you will as well if you don't have yours. It, it, you will absolutely benefit from it. Um, uh, it, it, it is, it's an ab absolute, it's a fact, right? Um, but whether if you feel called to do it, do it. If you don't, don't get it yet. Cause you're just not, you're not ready, but, um, it is something to just take note of. Let's see. Um, what other feelings do they have towards, uh, Pisces? They find you very attractive. I feel you, your energy is very magnetic for this person. It's like, there's this draw to you. They've never had that feeling with anyone else as well. It's very clear. Um, it's, ah, the phrase is like this, this magnetism and attraction to you. Um, it's not been felt elsewhere uh, with anyone else. And they know that that means something. They're not quite sure. They don't really know how to put this into words per se. Um, but they do know it's something. Mm, let's see. Let's see. Uh, I feel right now as well that this person is very much 
wrapping up some karmic lessons and uh, karmic cycles right now um, that they have to wrap up. In fact, I think that they've been struggling to wrap some, one of them up. I see there being one for some of them, two uh, lessons that they have trouble, uh, they're having trouble with closing out, um, closing out the karmic cycle. And until they do that, they're not going to feel ready to make a move towards you. Can I get, um, uh, Manishan, do you have any, any information on what that is exactly? What is the, the cycle that's coming up? What is the, or sorry, what's the karmic cycle they're having trouble uh, wrapping up? The pursuit of happiness one. That was an interesting one. Um, pursuit of happiness. It is, uh, it, it, I think humans as a whole, just get, they struggle with this one to go after what makes you happy, right? So to not settle, Oh, that real tricky stuff. Is it not? Um, they're learning that one right now. And that is to choose happiness or choose a path that leads to happiness rather than settling or rather than accepting what is happening by chance. And uh, it's a big one. It's a big deal. Uh, I feel I feel like this is actually a key to sovereignty. Um, it's what it feels like to me. Um, but I'm not sure. I, I don't know. It, anyway, uh, any other feelings that they have right now towards Pisces? They remember you. Um, the memories that they have of you. They, they think about those often. Very sweet here as well. Do you know, um, like in a cartoon or an anime where they, they have like those flashbacks and those flashbacks are very bright um, and they're very saturated? Yeah, they have that. So when they think about their experiences with you, it's very bright and very saturated <laughs> um, with, I don't know, it's saturated with color and stuff because it, it, they look at it so pleasantly and they look at it so, so nicely. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's all I got for you, I believe. Uh, any any last thing for Pisces? That's it. That's it. That's all I got for you, Pisces. I want to thank you for being here. Don't forget to like and comment. I do appreciate it and take care. Bye.